Hi, this is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at the Noctua NHC14 CPU cooler. The NHC14 is a very interesting piece, which the packaging really only kind of hints at. Taking a look at the front of the box, we can see there's a picture of the NHC14, but it's only a partial. We can see that it's dual fan, but not much else. Do you see that it's a C-type flow design, which basically means that the cooler is shaped in a C formation with the air blowing through this way. It is a dual fan, which obviously we can see from the picture. It uses the Secure to Firm 2 mounting system. Now it also has a low profile mode and a high clearance mode. Basically if you lose one of the fans, either the bottom fan you're going to get much more clearance underneath the unit or lose the top fan, you're going to wind up with a low profile cooler. Typically you don't think of a dual fan and low profile going hand in hand. Moving over to the top of the box, detailed specifications. The dimensions on the cooler are listed as 166 high by 140 wide by 130 deep. Uh, that's a little misleading because the actual height is listed as the depth here and it's 130 millimeters with the fan attached. Without the fan it stands only 105 millimeters so it'll fit into just about any case. Also you've got the details on the NFP14 fans that are included. Uh, they have a maximum rotational speed of 1200 RPM. With the low noise and ultra low noise adapters included, they'll spin down to 750 and 900 respectively. Got further listing of the features over on the side panel with a little bit more detail. Explain, explanation of the C-type flow design, a little more on the NFP14 fans, a little more on the Secure Firm 2 mounting system, explanation of high clearance and low profile, and also just a little note that it does come with NTH1 thermal compound, which is one of the finest thermal compounds on the market. In the rear of the box, explanation in six more languages. And moving over, a little bit more detail on the pictures, as well as line drawings showing all three modes available. Opening the box, and the Noctua is packed in all environmentally friendly packaging. On top, accessory box, AMD hardware set, common parts, which include the low noise and ultra low noise adapters, as well as the Y adapter for the fans. And as you can see, a full tube of Noctua NTH1 thermal case. Intel set for mounting on an Intel system. Screwdriver is included. And finally, the manual. Comes in a holder separate manuals for Intel and AMD. Under the accessory box, find a larger box containing NHC14 itself. Once again, all cardboard, no styrofoam, no rubber, all biodegradable. One of the strange things here you see is the fact that it comes with the fans pre-installed. Very unusual in today's market. It's also one of the only coolers where the fans are the first thing installed if they're not installed already. Uh, reason for that being they don't block any of the tie downs or uh, secure points as they would were the unit mounted this way. It's not going to get in the way of a ram slot. You'll actually be able to put the screwdriver right through the fan and hole in the heat sink to get to the secure points. Now, as we would said, it's a C-type unit, shaped like a C. Airflow is through the unit this way. Six heat pipes, copper, nickel plated. Cooling block, also copper, nickel plated. As you can see, 
good amount of fins, 140 millimeters worth, and the two NFP14s pre-installed. Using the multiple mounting configuration of the NHC14 is very, very simple. As you see right now, it sits in its normal dual fan configuration. If you were putting it into a low profile application such as an HUPC, a uh, slim case, simply take off the top fan. Two clips, off comes the fan. It's now only 105 millimeters in height and still offers a great deal of cooling capacity. If you've got a situation where you're close to your RAM slots, uh, you're using taller RAM, or if your motherboard has some taller heat sinks right around the CPU, the bottom fan can be removed just as easily. And replaced by simply the top fan. You've now got a great deal of clearance underneath for any components that may be in the way. All in all, the NHC14 is a very, very versatile unit. It's a top-notch cooler capable of low-profile applications and can also give you great clearance if you need it for your motherboard. Let's take a quick look at the NFP14 fan. It is a 140 millimeter fan made by Noctua themselves. Very simple design, just a ring frame. Ball pattern lines up with any standard 120 millimeter fan. Clips are pre-installed on the fan and use a rubber bushing to cut down on vibration. If you take a closer look at the teeth at the uh, fins themselves, there's a sawtooth pattern cut into each fin. Noctua says this cuts down on noise and adds to airflow. The fan is capable of 110 CFM at only 19.6 dB. That's a lot of air movement without a lot of noise. Two of them in conjunction still remain quieter than most 120 millimeter fans and can move significantly more air.